Hi folks, if you're looking for a bit of inspiration, something that you can do or some ideas with a really dead space in your garden, then you're in the right space. Today we're showing you an amazing garden called the Artist's Garden at the Garden World Spring Festival and I can't wait to show you what this garden has in store. The Artist's Garden is really such an amazingly clever use of space. What it shows you is that in a small area, the garden can be created to functionally show how you and I can enjoy it outdoors. So from the one side, there's a beautiful patio with the easel where you can really sit and enjoy the outdoors. Mixed with contemporary elements, but yet loads of tropical plants. We've got a boma area, and then we've got a more functional area where there's a sink and a potter's wheel. And there's one element that really sticks out in the garden, and that's the golden thread of the use of white and just take a look at it here. White primulas being used throughout from that side of the garden right through into the boma area and into the more practical area behind me. But what it does show you is that it links the whole garden together. This in summer could be replaced with white begonias or with white petunias if it's in a sunny spot. But that really adds a gorgeous element to the garden. You know, this garden is truly inspirational. One, because it's got these beautiful tropical plants in it. Uh, literally from the viburnums, we've got some bromeliads, larger flowered ones, and then these climbing ones that literally come out like stalks. The cleverness is how the bromeliads have been used here to disguise a relatively simple wall and are growing on one of these moss poles, you can plastic moss pole, that's got all the coconut husks inside, and then it's got the plastic, you can pick them up at any of your local garden centers. And linked with the begonias that have been planted down here. Now also, an old fashioned plant. I mean folks, we haven't seen this plant around for yonks, and that makes me so pleased, because begonias love growing in semi-shade, they've got the beautiful voluptuous tropical leaf, and it's picking up on the reds all over. But also with the texture of the wall behind, I think this is a wicked combination. Bromeliads, a bit of cladding, some begonias, and then a bit of ceramic art dotted here and there, and that is what is appealing to me so much in this garden. Not only have walls been used in this little section to create a bit of interest, but in just beyond me, you'll see those beautiful shelves that have been made with a bit of chain and some pieces of wood. Simple and yet so effective. It shows you, you don't have to be putting in brackets and doing a whole lot of weird stuff. Literally, a few hanging shelves creates that vertical element which we're all looking when we're working with small spaces. I love this boma area of the garden and it really does show that you don't need a lot of space to be able to get it right. But what have they done that makes it so appealing? Because very often bomas can seem quite hard and, and not very inviting. Well, number one, they've surrounded it with amazing plants and given it a bit of height. This beautiful magnolia, it's called Magnolia russet. It's actually a low growing, it's a small tree. So it's only gonna get to three or four meters in your garden has these beautiful white flowers in the early spring, which are incredibly fragrant. And magnolias are brilliant plants to use, great for pots as well. The circle has then been replicated again by the shape of the planting of the trees. And of course, a bit of wood underneath, which is great. And it's not, you know, it's not all the same. I love the way that it's fanning out because it really accentuates the circle effect. The fact that there's gravel underfoot, it's easy to maintain, you don't have to worry about weeding. And the beautiful tropical plants that I'm looking at now with the amazing bromeliads, the blechnum ferns, and of course another reflection pond. I mean, this is a really cool space that I could simply just hang out in. And once again, what is the thread? Look behind me, here are the white primulas that I spoke about, and of course, a bit of art that has been popped around in different areas of garden to bring it all together. But I could sit here until the sun goes down and then light the fire and I'd just be a really happy gardener. I'm kind of not a standard fan of standard plants of what I'm talking about, but in this garden, I really have fallen in love with them all over again. And that's probably because they've been used correctly and really cleverly. Here they've been used to create some interest and some depth. In this raised planter, this is viburnum. Now viburnum is an incredible plant, folks. It can grow down at the sea and right up to the mountains where it gets really, really cold. It forms a perfect hedge if you just let it go. 
great for screening out the neighbors. Or you can clip it into a topiary, just like this. But notice the glossy leaf. And so it can really look like a tropical plant as well, although it can grow in the very, very temperate climates. Underplanted with the white, look at the monochrome that's going all the way through. I love it. But it's the height of the lollipops that gives you that depth. And once again, not only is this a great space, this is somewhere where I'm encouraged to go and potter around, literally to garden. Beautiful containers, it's a comfortable space. And think about that in your garden. Do you have that comfortable space where you can go and keep your little favorites, work on your plants and make it your own? That's for me, is what gardening is really about. This garden truly has really hit the spot in, in my heart and my head. I, I love the ceramic um, pots that have been used in different areas, the repetition, the camellias, the beautiful foliage, the begonias, um, these viburnums that have been taken to a new level and the different areas that have been used so cleverly. So we've got the boma, somewhere here where I can sit and relax, and then the pottering area where we can all have a little fun in our own gardens. Do be inspired and add a little Eastern flair to your garden back home.